Hey guys, Spray and Pray here, and welcome to the 51st episode of my Let's Play of Europe Universalis 4 as Japan. We are kicking some ass and taking names in southern China. I don't know what this is called. I'm sure if I turn on the region map mode, it'll give me a good name. Like the Vietnam era area. Uh, is there, yeah. Let's see, what's this called? Asia. <laughs> uh, Asia. Asia. Chinese region. Yeah, this doesn't seem to just, it doesn't really seem to have a region. Just, it's Asia. But, uh, maybe there's something, a different map mode that would tell me more. I mean, it's like the, the, uh, the Cantonese <laughs> uh, culture area. Very culturally diverse, interesting area. Anyways, we are going to continue here. We weren't really doing anything. We just wrapped up a war with Pegu in which we gave Lang Zhang the last of their provinces. Hopefully within the, uh, you know, the time that they're our vassal, we will be able to have them turn, get a few claims maybe on somebody and then we'll attack them and give them it for them. But uh, we don't really know if that's going to happen or not. Probably not. Anyways, uh, what another thing we were going to do is, I was just thinking about it, but whatever. Oh, we need to build the building. We got another. We have a bunch of unique buildings. We're gonna build another um, another building here. That's gonna give us an, another. Uh, we can build another person, another dude, without having a. Uh, we can have another leader without upkeep. So let's build it on Okinawa. That's just historically a navy and an air force base in our time. We don't have any uh, loans, do we? Right now? No, we're good. All right. I've been checking over there in the Middle East, and nobody really wants a loan. Uh, neither Hajez or Oman, and Oman's like not really gonna take one. Oh, are you serious? Wow, I haven't seen this in forever. Jesus Christ! A comment. Oof. Do stability give us more missionary strength? Yes, it does. Well, which provinces are we doing right now? Does it show me? Not really. Uh, I guess we could just click on our. So we're doing it here, and it's gonna take because we got we got really good. Yeah, it's six percent per day. That's pretty cool. All right, yeah, we keep on just demolishing these uh, these loser uh, rebels or natives rather. But that's just to be expected, I guess. The prey below are one of our protectorates, apparently. California, we could vassalize them. Maybe they want a, um, do we have room for them? Well, we're annexing Divet, so maybe. They have claims everywhere up here, so. They have claims everywhere up here, so we might as well. So, California. We're not going to just do a no cost ability. We're going to give them a loan, maybe? Damn it, why does nobody need a loan? But uh, they are small enough to vassalize. I guess the base tax isn't really a lot up here. It's just like two, two, three, two, four, four. Wow, they have actually have a lot. I'm surprised that it maybe maybe it is too much. It probably is too much. So it's okay that they're not going to let us anyways. It's just too bad that there's no freaking westernized other westernized people over here. All they have to do is try. They don't even have to westernize. They just have to tr start, and then we can vassalize them. And we'll let them westernize, we'll protect them the whole time, and do whatever they want. I've resorted to sugar and caffeine to stay awake, just in case you were wondering. And in case you were wondering further, I'm having myself a Dr. Pepper cherry. I find that's my favorite flavor, so why not? Uh, do they have any... Nope, chump. I wonder if Divet will get a claim or two before we uh, finish them. Because we would totally feed them all of Champa if they uh, if they wanted it. Hmm. I wonder if we could sell it to them or not. Might as well try, I guess. I don't know. Taking nutrition up here. Send them. Yeah, let's send them up there to Gengzhou, because we don't want to go through there. Even though Macau would be a great place to put them, we just don't want to go through there. We're losing money now, why? 
Enjoy to defund our navies. I mean, we're paying a lot for our advisors. Why are they so expensive? Oh, our inflation is making it more interesting. Wow. Their salary is really high. I don't know what the hell. Like, they were only 25 earlier. I don't know what the f is happening. Like, we don't have to fund our navies at all. As long as they're repaired or whatever, they'll be fine. But, I mean, it is it is sort of affecting our trade income, but not much. It's not the same. It's not one-to-one. -one. So, in Setsu. Where the hell is that? Oh, they're not even... It's not even... Uh... Okay, God, I, I'm sorry. I have no idea where this thing is, so I gotta look it up. Uh, set. Oh, it's on my island. Why would they be pissed? They've been Shinto for, like, eternity. Oh, well. Seven religious zealots. Alright, well. I gotta kill seven people, then. Let's just uh, go take 30 of these guys, and that should be plenty. <clears throat> uh, we can also probably defund our military because we don't really need them right now. We know we we know we're not going to go to war with Russia anytime soon. And we just fought three wars in quick succession. Hopefully the ships will get there though first, and then once we kill these rebels, we're going to go ahead and put them uh put the uh the thing we're going to lower the funding of the troops. What are we getting? Ooh, we get a two-decker. Navy morale, naval maintenance goes up a little bit. Naval attrition is no longer increased by staying out at sea each month. Ooh, yay. So when do we get another idea? Is that 22? I figured as much. We're almost there. And boom. All right. Go ahead. Yep, bye-bye. All right, let's uh let's pay for the navy. Cuz it's like what? 15. All right. Yeah. And then we won't pay for our army at all. Cuz why? We're not at war. We're not fighting a gazillion rebels like we were when we were trying to westernize. So we might as well, right? Let's merge these guys too. Cuz we want them to um them all to get the bone the benefit from my uh, navy admiral so do we finish our uh, oh good we can hire a free military leader now awesome they're getting attacked over here but that's fine we're gonna easily defeat them as usual uh, let's go get our guys from over here could use them in the new world, I guess. So how's Russia now on this ledger? I bet you they're like a gazillion over their force limit now. Not much. But we're not very close to them at all. Hopefully they'll just remain eastern. Because that will give us an advantage on them tech-wise. We're now 20. We're now, we're like, we're, last time when we teched up, we didn't get as much. But we weren't, we weren't together as long. Now we've been together for a pretty long time. Like, uh, wa like number-wise, we've been pretty close. Like, it, it's getting closer and closer every time. Because, like, they upgrade, like, maybe a year or two before we are able to and it's getting even closer and closer as we get closer to you know because they're they've got minus 10 percent or something right what's it say eastern i don't know it doesn't say but uh yeah so we should have the advantage what sucks is we're gonna have like the loserest worst guy ever oh and russia can't declare war so we're fine we definitely don't need to pay for our stuff converted yet another person good how much do these missionaries cost oh, they, co they cost like nothing they cost point like one ducat to supply really that's, that's nothing 
Nothing to fear by funding them. So this is why I decided to pick up my men, because now we have, we're going to have three colonies. And we can't do it with just four troops. So you guys get over there. Oh no, stay, stay, because you're just going to get raped. That colony is going to blow up. Then what do we do? That's just really annoying. Anyways, let's keep going here. Ah, Dr. Pepper cherry, so delicious. Please, I wonder if, I hope Dr. Pepper, like, watches my videos or something. Because then I could, like, t I would totally, like, take money just to, like, oh, I'll drink Dr. Pepper in every video. Yeah, for $5 or whatever, I don't care. I'm cheap. Dr. Pepper is good, I don't mind peddling it. I don't like the colors of Great Britain and Japan. They're, like, together. It's too hard to tell the difference. Like, especially up here, I keep thinking this is, like, my own territory, when it's clearly not. Ooh, who are they at war with? Portugal? Ooh, shit! Uh, it might now be a good time to declare war on them. Ooh, Riga is the defender of the Protestant faith. So, who's, who's fighting against them in the first place? Okay, Portugal. And who's who, Great Britain English? Oh, so all their English shit is on their side. So maybe maybe we could school them. Because it looks like, oh no, Great Britain's actually occupying over here. So if we could not get our colonies in it, it would be nice. But um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to fabricate a claim on uh, this one here. What is it? Karchermanica. And we will take that from them. If we can get it fabricated quickly enough. We might as well take some troops up there. Just to start the sieges, you know. And is two decker is two decker when does three decker gum come into play? Three deckers aren't until twenty five, but I mean we might as well wait, because we're gonna because everybody else is on tech twenty five anyways, so I don't think it's really worth it to not wait. And build the ships and just it'll be a waste of money if we did but I was thinking we could build a bunch of ships but as you can see Great Britain should have been getting killed by Portugal and all those guys attacking him but maybe his navy got killed so Great Britain has the navy they still have a pretty good navy they've got no galleys just a bunch of light ships and stuff yeah, we have more light ships than they do. And our force limit is lower than theirs, though, because they've got probably a bunch of ports built and merchants and stuff and their grand navy and empire and shit. So yeah, we're probably not going to be able to blockade them or anything. But if we could fly fabricate a claim on this one province, we could easily take it. Yep. So how are we doing down here? And uh, this we're, we're at twenty-seven, twenty-two point seven percent converted. Nobody wants to be. Nobody wants to westernize down here. But it's so easy. <laughs> I will even protect you while you westernize. I don't even care. I do not mind at all. Oh well. How's our religious unity going? We're at 69%. Good. Our agent was discovered, so it's going to take a lot longer to finish that thing than I thought it was going to take. So we might have missed our chance, but... I mean, if we see just one province, then we should be fine. Because we'll get the 25%, but I don't know about these. The English West Indies is going to like rape our little in Japanese West Indies. Especially since they're doing so well against Portugal and Caribbean stuff. It's really strange. Yeah, the Dutch are just getting wrecked. Wow, look at that. Great Britain is invading them. Holy crap, Great Britain is doing so well. 
in these wars. Never mind. We can't fight them. Forget that. Go back. Go home. Let's go fight somebody we can fight against. <sighs> I'm just looking around. I don't know really where we're going to go for expansion, per se. I wish Delhi would, you know, we would have shared their dynasty. That would have been nice. Oh well. Uh, one stability or 50 prestige. Stability, please. Thank you. I wish we could expand this guy more. Does Hajaz need a loan yet? What about Oman? I mean, we might just have to go no CB war then, but... It's still annoying. We might no CB war them, and then, like... Yeah, they're no ally. They have no allies, so let's just no CB war them. We'll just get our boats back over here, grab them, we'll take the two stability hit. Let's send those troops over there now that they're finally there. We have the col the Portuguese colony thing again. It's fine. Oh, sh our th our morale is really low because we're not paying for anything. I forgot. I was like, why are we dying so much? Or like, yeah, why can't we move? <laughs> oh, come on, Portugal. You're good for nothing. You're just going to sit there. Can't you please kill those pirates? Please? You're doing nothing else? Oh, well, the sea tiles don't even make sense in the new world at all. <laughs> so it's not that big a deal. Apparently we're being blockaded down here now because our stupid colony. God damn it. How's the HRE doing? Do they pump through another reform? What's their next one? Disallow internal HRE's wars. Then the next one is the, uh, oh, they always get it. And this one is their, uh, they get vassals of everybody. We have plenty of prestige, so, uh, let's go ahead and build another one of our, uh, things. So do we want prestige or legitimacy? Let's get the prestige, I guess. We'll build a national glorious monument of Tokyo. Or Kyoto, whatever you want to call it. So now we'll get more prestige. And it'll take away that... So it'll be only minus 1.7 a year when we're at max. So that's helpful. Good, good, good. Uh, if it moves, tax it. Or manpower draft it. Um, let's get some more tax modifier. And uh, we got a bunch of stuff now. We got a conquest cost ability against uh, Great Britain, but you know we're gonna have to wait till they're a, um they're losing. They're losing against Portugal apparently. Let's see how's that war going? We can look at the ledger. Current wars, uh, Portuguese reconquest of the thing, so the score is that, because these things are occupied by Portugal, hmm, well, I mean, we already moved our troops, so we're going for, go we're going to go for the no CB causes, Billy, so let's, uh, Let's just stick with what we were doing. We'll get as many troops as we can on the boat here, and we're gonna take them across the ocean to go fight the uh, the people in the Middle East. All right, get on the boat. 
come over here and drop them off. I wonder if Ajez could be defeat. I wonder if uh, Yemen can defeat them now. I don't know. I can't tell. It's too bad these guys, Ethiopia and Funj and Nadal, are all. I really don't like this patch thing where they made them like protectorates rather than just vassals because integrating them was so much more fun. And much more. I thought I thought it was better game that way, but whatever. You know, we're gonna play. We're challenging ourselves, I guess, this way. While this may be annoying, it's still cool, I guess. The ungrateful natives of Patagonia Oriental have attacked. Oh no! Well, good thing we have troops. Goddamn pirates, though. send more stuff. Uh, how close are we attacking? I know we're close to getting our final idea here in the religious so then we can start uh, actually attacking up in uh, admin so that'll be nice we get the better relations over time thing. So we should be able to do this next month. Yep there we go. Alright, let's do that. Good, we finished it. Now we can worry about just teching up. So what's our next idea going to be? Probably should be something helpful, not trade. Uh, probably not a diplomatic idea. I wouldn't let, I don't know, I'm, it's between maybe innovative. But, like, we really do need the offensive ideas. So I'm not sure. Anyways, they're at 24 still, Russia, so we do have a chance to sneak past them and get to 25 before they do. So that's going to be very, that's really cool. It really means a lot, like, to me, because that means that we're going to be able to hopefully usurp them in the future. He served us fit. Oh. The Admiral died. Well, he was a good Admiral. That's for sure. How's our King doing, by the way? Because, you know, he's kind of badass and our, our heir is kind of shitty. He's only 46, though. How old's our heir? 17. Damn. He's stupid, though. He's so stupid. Let's go put him over there with the natives or something. So where's the most aggressive natives? <laughs> and uh, we'll put him over there. Alright, how about you be in charge of these guys, buddy? <laughs> Good luck. Have fun. Don't get into any, any fights you can't handle. And if you do, just kill yourself and your country will love you for it. Haha. <laughs> I wish you could assassinate your people like you could do in Crusader Kings, I know. I never really played Crusader Kings, but I know you can assassinate your own people. Looks like the Oriad Horde is having some issues. Yeah, we're really close to getting this military tech. We just need like 200 more points. And I mean, we have all the bonuses really. The neighbor bonus. It's not. We're not ahead of time. So. How how what color are we on tech by the way? Still still yellow, but it's like we were dark yellow. And we're better than Delhi, who's also recently westernized, which is nice. That's good that we're different. We're not them. Commonwealth. Wow. Commonwealth Hungary and Serbia are the same as us. Somehow Russia is like way ahead of their eastern counterparts, which is really strange. But that's nice that we're better than they are. We're even we're better than Burgundy. What the hell is Burgundy doing over there that they can't get their tech up? That's weird. Oh, did they take back some land? Oh no, Great Britain took land from the Netherlands. That's hilarious. Oh. Look, they lost the Antwerp. And Calice. Wow. Or maybe I uh, maybe Great Britain held on to Calice the whole time, I don't remember. I couldn't really I didn't really pay attention. Maybe somebody can tell me. 
Uh, yay, yay, yay! More stuff. So we just got heavy frigates, which are better frigates than the frigates that we got. Frigate. <laughs> oh well. We'll make more of those someday. Right now, though, we're trying to save our money. And we're just about to tech up again in military, though. It's pretty cool though that we're able to tech up so much in our ad in our, our diplo or sorry yeah diplomatic tech. It's so cheap, in fact, that I'm trying to figure out maybe we should do one of our one of these ideas for diplomacy. Maybe um, I would say maybe this one because uh, this is one of these give us corn cost reduction. I know, I know, I think Diplomatic gives us corn cost reduction, right? Now let's turn to Fabricate Claims. Where's the corn cost? I know there's one idea that does corn cost. It's something. <laughs> I swear, it's over here. Maybe it's like, um, never mind, I guess. I, oh, maybe it was the, uh, it's probably the Italian. I was watching Shen play of Italy, Italy, so maybe that's what it was that I saw. Oops. Oh, we can finally convert, we can, can finally, we can, blah, blah, blah. We can finally convert Mascar. Suni is just naturally hard to convert. And it was a really high base tax area. Luckily, it's not distant overseas, technically, so we should be able to do it. Yeah, we got all of our uh, all of our Japanese ideas, though. That's nice. We got our uh, yearly legitimacy up, which we get positive legitimacy. Yeah, and we got our we finished the monument, so now we're only losing 0.15 a month or a year in prestige. So that's nice. And we could probably afford to... Uh, oh, did our boats get there? Okay, let's go ahead and do the... Uh, let's declare war. Ottomans don't want to come. That's okay. I guess we should pay for our troops. But we'll only pay till they are not making them... We're still making money. Convert another thing. It's cool. Cool beans. Hopefully Yemen can go ahead and just kick some ass while we gain some morale. There we go. Half morale. So I'm pretty sure... Yeah, they're, Hejaz is tech 18, so we're just going to wreck them. Uh, lose money and then... Oh, arrow die. Please die. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, yes, she died. Oh, phew, okay. 75% chance, chance that it was going to be awesome. Alright, let's get a good uh, air now. Come on, shaman. Ooh, the emperor again got elected, so that's going to give him more stuff. And stuff. Can you walk across these things? I'm wondering. I'm just going to click on it. When I get to... You can walk across here. Wow, I didn't even know that. <laughs> I'm stupid. I don't know. You could walk across there. Oh, he's running. He's running. He's running. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Squoosh. Squoosh. Squoosh, please. Apparently there's some sort of... Uh... Oh, we fought in the mountains. Oops. Uh, so he's probably gonna go run to Mecca. You should just follow him and kill him. Is Mecca a religious center? Yes, it is. All right, I guess we gotta send him back to California when we get the chance. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know we're doing low maintenance, whatever. So 
So are we going to catch him or what? Yep. Alright, and we squished. So yeah, we're just going to carpet siege. And that's it. Only Hajaz came. I guess Adal, I guess they lost their uh, protectorate over Adal, or Adal just decided not to come. Whatever. Alright, let's send our money, our maintenance down to zero. And now we just gotta sit back and watch them die. But that's gonna have to wait until after this autosave. And till the next episode. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. It looks like we're gonna be expanding a little bit more over here into Hajaz and getting some more territory for Yemen. Cool beans, cool stuffs. All right, thanks so much for watching. See you guys next time. Spray and pray out.